Okay, welcome to part 33, I think, of my Rome Total War cartridge campaign. Uh, last time we left off, we were about to start the battle with uh, the Gallic army for besieging my city, and we also have a bigger Gallic army besieging another city, so it's not going well at the moment. Uh, do you know what? This is quite a small army now, to be honest. Uh, but I want to get out of this with minimal losses. I mean, these chosen swordsmen will be tough, tough to handle. So I don't know. Will I just get two units on uh, these guys? One on him. Get a couple on these. Will I get my? I will see how this works out. Hopefully not too bad. You have to you have to remember that uh, apart from the chosen swordsman and the general's bodyguard, that these guys have really poor morale. I mean, they're not even wearing armor for Christ's sake. So here come my cavalry. I think this fella is going for the chosen swordsman. So I'll just watch them go. Okay. They seem to be running or just right. As I said, these guys excellent morale, really great morale. I mean, look at that! They're not even routing yet, and they just took an absolute hammering. An absolute. Okay, finally, there they go. Oh, he just said retreat there, I think. I think he's about to run off. Continue. Please kill him. No. No, that's him, isn't it? Are oh, you... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Why are you stopping? Go! Christ, you're letting him get away. God, you better not make it. That is just so fucking typical of the AI in this game. God, I'm gonna kill these guys just to please me. Watching in a normal motion, to watch these guys just get their ass kicked. Literally get their ass kicked. Finally. A lot of dead bodies around here. Only lost 60 men. Not bad. Not bad at all. But we have another battle to fight in a minute. And it's going to be a hard one. Going to be a hard one. But you have to remember this is the same army that... Uh, that defeated a full stack Gallic army a couple of a couple of parts ago, so So uh, yeah we'll see what happens. <sighs> see what he has. No, I don't even know why I'm worried why why I get worried when uh when cash when Gallic armies come by, I mean three to seven, that that's not right. God, half the armies they have are just comprised of warband and mercenaries. Let's go. I'll just leave them go off to wherever they go every time an AI army attacks. Okay. All 
I really need more infantry in my armies, I think. I really need more infantry. Okay, see what we can do. It's all mercenaries, that's all it ever is. Mercenaries here, mercenaries there. It's just amazing. Right. I'm gonna let what I'm planning to do is let my infantry attack the two guys in the middle. Hopefully these two fellas will encircle them, allowing my cavalry to hit them from behind. But uh you know the AI AI of this game is is it's extremely unpredictable of what they'll do. Extremely pred pred unpredictable of what they'll do, so Hopefully Hopefully I don't make a hash of this. Right, there they go. Into the mercenaries. Here we go. Oh shit. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Oh fuck. I think I can still salvage something from this. I'm not sure though. I might have just lost this battle. And effectively to town. If I can kill the barbarian. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna try some. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just withdraw my general. Yeah. Ah, shit. Okay. Okay, it's not. It's not bad. God, oh, those barbarian. Those warbands really did do a number on my men. Okay. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try and go for the hill. Up here. I'm going to try and go for the high ground. They'll, these guys are obviously going to move, but... Uh, yeah. My general is in any danger, or if he's more, more likely to be killed, then I'll just concede defeat and end the battle. That's all. As I said before, we're not out of this yet, people. We're not out of this yet. It's just this guy's gonna be tough. These fuck these fucking infantry are gonna be terrible as well. My infantry is basically expendable at this point. Okay. Can't keep my cavalry in, su in sustained combat, otherwise they will go. God, these barbarian mercenaries are really actually proven quite tough. Proven to be quite tough. If I can get rid of the general, though, which would be really good, then. Uh, I don't know, I might be able to get something out of this battle. Okay, it's another unit of uh, infantry gone. Ah, oh, shit. No, it's too, there's just too much men. 
too many men. I think I might have to concede defeat on this one. Ah, shit. At least I got more kills. But, uh, I have a decent army close to, uh, close to Massilia, so if I can recapture it quickly, then I might be able to, uh, salvage the city or the town. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's amazing how annoying this game can be. It's just amazing. Um, I think I am almost done to, nearly done to, uh, to attack uh, Croton, I think. I think I'm almost there. I think I'm almost done to begin the invasion of Italy. I'm almost done. Which is good. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm gonna go in here though and try and get some try and get some uh map information from the Julii. Anyway, I think I'm come close now to the end of part thirty three, I think. Well, it's uh, unfortunate now that we lost the city of Massilia, but it will be retaken. I mean, it's basically a ragtag army that they have. The only reason I lost is was because I was outnumbered. That's really the only reason, so... Absolutely no problem. No problem whatsoever. Anyway, I think I'll just end it off here, so... It's been part 33 of my Rome Total War Cartridge campaign. Hope you're enjoying it and I shall see you in the next part.